Welcome to the Game Audio Resource WiseCube 2019 Audio Implementation Guide Series. In this guide, we will implement only the player character footsteps, as a unique hierarchy structure is needed only for the player character. In Chapter 7, we will also fix the following content. Use all available default material types that come with the game. Use a different approach to fix timing of footstep spacing. Trigger unique underwater movement content and silence the footstep assets when the player character is underwater. This step will set up wise data with hierarchy and assets for the player character footsteps. First we set up the basic hierarchy structure. Navigate to the Project Explorer audio tab, Actor Mixer, Footstep Wise Work Unit. Right click, then select New Child, Switch Container. Name the new container, Footstep underscore Human underscore Player. Select the new switch container, footstep underscore human underscore player. In the properties editor, general settings tab, output bus, change it to the master mixer footstep audio bus. Now we need to assign the child content to affect the switch. Right click the footstep underscore human underscore player switch container, then select new child switch container. Name it footstep underscore human underscore player underscore state. Next we can split the hierarchy into two main sections, underwater and above water. First we add bubbles. Right click the footstep underscore human underscore player underscore state switch container, then select new child random container. Name it footstep underscore underwater underscore bubbles. Now add a few one shot underwater bubble audio assets to the random container. In the import window, change the path to SFX, Footstep, Underwater. Also drag a Water Wades Loop audio asset into the Footstep underscore human underscore player underscore state switch container. Again, in the import window, place it under SFX, Footstep, Underwater. Select the Underwater loop, then in the Properties Editor, add a tick to the loop tick box. Right click the footstep underscore human underscore player underscore states switch container, then select new child switch container. Name it footstep underscore human underscore player underscore run. Right click the footstep underscore human underscore player underscore run switch container, then select new child sequence container. Copy and paste the new sequence container so you have nine sequence containers. Now name each sequence container a different material type. Concrete, grass, gravel, metal, sand, stone, tile, water, and wood. Next, we need to add audio assets for each footstep material type. Drag all audio assets into one of the sequence containers. In the import window, change the import file path to SFX, footstep, then human. Then move the audio assets to the correct corresponding material sequence containers. Next we need to tell the structure how to handle the switches we have assigned. Select the footstep underscore human underscore player switch container. Then in the properties editor we shall assign a switch. Under switch, then group, select the arrow button. Then navigate to the switch groups default work unit, then foot. Set the default switch slash state to left. In the contents editor, drag the footstep underscore human underscore player underscore state onto the left slash right assigned object variables. Select the footstep underscore human underscore player underscore state switch container. Then in the properties editor, we shall assign a state. Under switch, then group. Select the arrow button. Then navigate to state groups, default work unit, player in water. Set the default switch slash state to none. In the contents editor, drag the switch container footstep underscore human underscore player underscore run onto the assigned object variables none and no. Then drag the underwater wade loop and the random container to the assigned object variables yes. Select the footstep underscore human underscore player underscore run switch container then in the properties editor, we shall assign a switch. Under switch, then group, select the arrow button. Switch groups, default work unit, then material. 
Select the default switch slash state to concrete. Then drag each sequence container material type to the corresponding assigned object switch variable, e.g. wood onto wood, grass onto grass. To get the hierarchy working in game, we need to associate the correct sound events. In the Project Explorer Events tab, locate all foot underscore sound events. Then drag them into the Events, Default Work Unit, Footstep Wise Work Unit. Select the sound event called foot underscore player. Now drag from the actor mixer hierarchy the main parent switch container, footstep underscore human underscore player, onto the play entry target column in the events editor, currently assigned to test underscore footstep. Next we assign a few properties for underwater content. In the Project Explorer events tab, select the event splash out player. Then right click, select New Action, Stop, then Stop. Drag the Waterwades Loop audio asset into the Stop Target column. Return to the Audio tab, then navigate to the Footstep underscore underwater underscore bubbles random container. In the Properties Editor, Play Mode, change to Continuous. Tick Transitions, then select Type Trigger 8 from the drop down menu. Set duration to 3, then set the randomizer max offset to 2. In the Properties Editor Advanced Settings tab, tick Ignore Parent. Tick Limit Sound Instances to 2 globally. Then in the When Priority is Equal drop down menu, set it to Discard Newest Instance. Then change to the States tab. Select Add Group State, Default Work Unit, Player in water. Set the no voice volume to minus 96. Then set the yes voice low pass to minus 40. Select the water wade loop. Then in the properties editor advanced settings tab, tick ignore parent, tick limit sound instances to one globally. Then in the when priority is equal drop down menu, set it to discard newest instance. Then change to the States tab. Select Add State Group, Default Work Unit, Player in Water. Set the No Voice Volume to minus 96. Then set the Yes Voice Low Pass to minus 40. Save your WISE project updates and generate the sound banks. Note, if you boot up the game now, no footsteps will play as the sequence containers have not yet been set up. There are a few ways you can address the issues with the player character footsteps being triggered too quickly. This step offers a different process to others found online. Change back to the WISE designer layout. Return to the footstep underscore human underscore player underscore run switch container, then select the first sequence container called concrete. Open the hierarchy. We will now add a silent asset like we did in chapter 4, step 3. Right click the concrete sequence container. Then select New Child, Sound, SFX. Name the container, Silence. In the Contents Editor, select Add Source, then Why Silence. Now we need to assign a playlist for the concrete footsteps. Select the concrete sequence container. Then in the Contents Editor, drag one footstep asset into the playlist. Then drag one silent asset into the playlist, ensuring that it is after the footstep audio asset. Then repeat point 0.5 and 6. The playlist should now look like the hierarchy you see on screen now. Copy and paste the wise silence into each of the sequence containers. Repeat this process for each material type listed. Grass, gravel, metal, water, etc. Generate the sound banks and save your WISE project updates. We have only fixed half the bugs associated with the footstep player content, but it is a good time to test all WISE updates as no more WISE data is needed. Change WISE to the profile layout. Boot up the cube game and connect WISE to the game. Move the player character around the default map, Met L3. 
You should notice the sand and metal assets trigger on the corresponding areas where the player moves over different texture tile types. You may notice a log entry in the profiler as you move the player character around the map. Message missing material type for IK base slash. This is due to all floor material types not being correctly set up in the cube game scripts. We will fix this issue in the next chapter, 07B, Fixing Material Types Guide. Close the game and run an integrity report. You should now notice two switches have disappeared from the list, material and foot. This is due to them now being used in the WISE hierarchy. If you have added any balancing updates to WISE, Save your WISE project and generate the sound banks.